the time welcome back to my channel today i have a really fun video i'm going to be doing an unboxing a big unboxing from the round top collection i'm so excited i got decor for my fall back porch as well as halloween and a sneak peek of christmas i cannot wait to show you everything if you caught my fall front porch i used the pumpkin topiaries from the round top collection i know a bunch of you guys loved it i did an unboxing here with a short little video not too long ago well today is a really big unboxing and i cannot wait to show you all the goodies i got so stay tuned and if you are new here to my channel welcome i love sharing home decor cooking and crafting here on my channel so if those are videos you enjoy watching click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay guys, I am so excited to get started. So grab yourself a pumpkin spice latte or a nice hot tea, sit back, relax, and let's get to unboxing. Before I get started unboxing, I'm going to make a yummy cup of coffee. Okay guys, so we have one, two, three, four boxes to unbox of decor for Halloween, my fall back porch, and a sneak peek at Christmas. So lots of goodies to go through. Some of these boxes are really heavy, so I'm super excited. So I have this one up here. We're just gonna do this in the kitchen. I was trying to figure out where I wanted to do it. So I made room here in the kitchen on the table. So we're just gonna start going through each box and I'm gonna show you everything I got. I'll also include links to uh, the decor in the description below as well. So this is gonna be lots of fun. So I made myself a pumpkin spice latte. Hopefully you have a coffee too. So let's get to unboxing. So this is box number one. It was in another box. I already took it out of the box. So today I'm just gonna be doing the unboxing, showing you everything. Um, I'll include links again for all the decor in the description below. And then at the end, I'll also show you the front porch in case you missed that. You can see the topiaries and that and all the goodies out there as well. I'll include a link for that video in the description below as well. So let's dive right in and see what's in this box. And again, this is gonna be a combination of fall, Halloween and Christmas. So I don't know, I don't know what's in any of the boxes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. We're going right into Christmas, my favorite. And wait till you guys see this. Okay, this, do you see, do you see what's coming out, you guys? Here, let me get you down here so you can see. Look it. I see Santa. I see Santa. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that. What I love about Round Top Collection is their attention to detail. The detail, you guys, is amazing. And I'm gonna, after we get it all taken apart, well, the bubble wrap off and put together, I'll give you a really close up close look at this too. So this is Santa. I know you guys are gonna love this so much because I'm already dying. I wish you all were here having coffee with me and we could have fun doing this together. But this is the next best thing, right? So here is the stand. And what I love about a lot of the decor that I'll be showing you is it has multiple uses. You can hang it, you can put it in a stake. Um, there's easels for a lot of them too. I am so excited for Santa. I'm so excited about this Santa. You know, I can't even. Oh my gosh, you guys. This Santa is huge. It's huge. I am so excited about this. Let's see. This is the cutest Santa ever. This is the cutest Santa ever. So it is a large Santa and you can see here, that I'm just simply going to put the two in together like that and then we're gonna stand them up. So let's do that. The city is covered in snow tonight. 
super easy to put together as you saw I just flipped it over then and I'm just tightening up the screws I'm so excited to flip them over but I wanted to just show you really quick so this is what you'll do if you want to have them stand up and then there's also the state too if you want to stay them in okay guys here is Santa standing up is he not the cutest Santa ever oh my gosh I am so excited for Christmas and to use him in my home and I want to show you closer Look at all the detail. It is so darling. My love go, Santa. I waited for him, but he's nowhere inside. And all of the presents are still by the tree. They don't mean a thing till this here with me. If you know. So you can see he is about 50 inches tall. He is a big guy. Super cute for a front porch or next to the Christmas tree. And the longest where it is from glove to glove is almost 34 inches. Hi there, Santa. How cute is he? Such a beautiful piece. I am so excited to include him in my Christmas decor. I can't get over Santa, you guys. He is the cutest. I'm gonna keep him here, just keep looking at him because he is so cute. Oh, I'm so excited to use him for Christmas. All right, so we are on to box number two. All right, so box number two. We have more Santa or more Christmas more Santa and this one is Christmas too wow and I this is perfect we are just keeping in the Christmas theme we are jumping right into Christmas so keeping with the Christmas theme here we go with our next box this I believe is the vintage ornaments and look at oh my gosh these are so cute. So look at these vintage styled ornaments. Look at the coloring on them. How pretty are these? So I plan on using these in my urns for Christmas. It is a set of three. So I'm going to have three of them in my urns and then have some greens around it. Look at how pretty. Look at the detail on that. So this is the one. I love all of the detail. So you have the little stake right there where you can stake it. It also has a hook so you can hang them as well. And here is the second one. I love all the detailing on each of them, don't you? And here is the third one. Aren't they beautiful? They are so pretty. And then it also comes with the stakes. So again, you can hang them or you can put the stakes, which that's what I'll be using for my urns. And I got two sets for both of my urns on each side of my front door. So I can't wait to show you how I use these in my urns for Christmas. So that'll be happening in November, which will be here before we know it, right? Um, but I couldn't wait to show you. So if you love these too, grab them before they are gone because some things sell out quickly. And then that's why I wanted to show you. So that is the same set. I'm going to keep them in the bubble wrap and then also with the set too. So I'm actually going to flip you down so you can see them up close as well. But again, these are going to be going in my front urns where I have my pumpkin topiaries from the round top collection right now. And I'm going to have them in there with greens and I'll be sharing that in November. And I wanted to show you the measurements as well. So from the top of the scroll down to the bottom, this one is 17 by, and I'm just looking at the measurements on the website too. I'll include a link for these in the description below by eight. And then this one 
is 15 by nine. So really, really good size. And then these, this one is 13 by, well, 12 by about 10. So a really good size if you want something that really packs a punch in your urns and really stands out. These are them, you guys. These are them. Super cute. Like I said, you can hang them too. So if you also do like garland around your door, you could have these like in your garland as well. But for the urns, these are going to be perfect. Okay, next up is the Dear Santa sign. So here is the Dear Santa sign. And I love that you can either set it down with the easel, you can hang it. It even comes with a stake, so you can stake it in. Look at how cute it stands. But it gets even cuter. I love it. I love it so much. You can use this indoors or outdoors. You could use this outdoor on your porch. And then here, you have naughty, or you can flip it around and it says nice. Are you not loving this too? I am loving this, you guys. So cute, so nice. Or uh-oh, somebody's been naughty. Somebody is that <laughs> naughty. How oh, cute, and again, you have the stakes too, so you can put it in the stake. Really, really good size as well. Show you up close here how cute it is look it says dear santa i've been how cute for a kids room too love this i love the detail on this don't you so so cute we'll switch it to nice i've been nice i've been nice i just love this so much and i'm thinking about using this on my front porch too kind of next to my urns i thought it would be really really cute and festive and of course near mr santa how cute does this all coordinate together oh i love it so much Okay, you guys, we are on to box number three. I actually have the entire box behind me, and then I'm just gonna pull out individual boxes here so you can see too. But first, let's all stop, have a little cup of coffee, have a sip of the coffee. So much fun. I love getting all of my seasonal decor early too, so then I have it and I'm ready to go once I want to start decorating, especially for the holidays too. I love getting it early. So then I'm just having and I'm not worried so I can really enjoy the holidays and I'm not worried about also running around and getting my decor. So I always encourage people to, to like decorate and get your decor early, even if you're not ready to decorate, then you have it and you'll be so happy you have it so you can enjoy the holidays and have spend the time baking cookies and baking and watching all of the Christmas movies and you have your decor ready to go. So it's one less thing, kind of do it now before the hustle and bustle of the holiday season. Kind of this is like the, the quiet time and then you can enjoy more. That's why I like to decorate for fall early because I love fall and it goes so quickly. I do it early so I can enjoy once September, October come around, I'm enjoying it and I'm not running around looking for decor. I'm already decorated. So I'm enjoying apple picking and all of the fun fall things. So, all right you guys, this looks like it is the happy Halloween flag. So let's dive right in. Okay, you guys, so now we are moving on to Halloween and I'm starting with these darling happy Halloween flags. Look at how big these are. These are such a good size. So you can put these in your urn. They also have a stake. So you can stake them, you can hang them. It has the hanger as well. Super duper cute. 
What an amazing size too. These are a great size from end to end. You're looking at 22 inches and then the widest part is about 11. I'll include a link for these in the description below too. These are so cute. So you could have them in the ground, which would be really, really cute. And I love the detail on this too. With the little candy corn. Are these not the cutest? I love these. And again, you have the steak, so you can add the steak to them as well. I have another one here too. You could have one in each urn. How cute would that be? You could hang these up on your door too. So many ways that you can use them. But I just think these are beautiful. I love the waviness to them too. Really well made. Super duper durable. Again, indoor, outdoor. Love these so much. Continuing on with the flags for Halloween, I also have the trick or treat flag which coordinates nicely with the Happy Halloween. And look at how stinking cute these are. So this says trick or treat. Look at the detail. It's got the orange and then the ombre going into the white. I love the font and the lettering. How cute. And then again, you can hang it or you can add it into the stake and add it into your yard or in an urn. These are so super cute for in your pots. Super duper cute. And look at how cute it coordinates with the happy Halloween. So cute. I love it so much. So those are the trick or treat tags. And then again, you get the stakes that come with them as well. Next up is the Spooky Boo flag. So look at how cute. This says Boo on it. How cute are they? And again, you can hang it and it's got the steak. You can hang them anywhere, use them in an urn, use them in your yard, use them under your lamp pole. And then here is Spooky. So you got Spooky and Boo. So you can add those into your urns. How cute are these, you guys? I love the detail on them. You could even put these in hanging baskets as well. So if you have hanging baskets and then just have that kind of leaning out too because it does have the stakes. So this is another set of the Spooky and the Boo. Super duper cute. So continuing on with the Halloween, I am now opening this as all glitter caps. And let me know in the comments, what is your favorite holiday to decorate for? I'm so excited for Halloween. <laughs> I really am. And Christmas and fall. I can't, I love them all. I love them all. I can't choose. I can't choose. The cats come in a set of three. So you have the back again, you can hang it or you can use the easel. Look at how cute that is. So the set of three has the orange. Next is the black cat. So the same thing. You can use the easel. You can hang it. You can even stake these too, which would be so cute in the yard. So there's the black cat, but it is the set of three. This one is like a greenish black cat. So I love how well, this is like even got like some blues and some purples in it. 
See how it's got like a little bit of a different shimmer to that? And again, you can hang it, you can stake it, you can use the easel too. How cute are these caps, you guys, for Halloween? And you can use them outside or inside. I love those cats. I love that silhouette look, don't you? Those are so cool. Oh my gosh, those are so different. And I love the set of three. So you get the set. You don't have to choose one. You get all three of them. So I actually have two sets too, because I think these would be really cool. Kind of like, you know, against like your landscaping edging would be really cute. Kind of lined up all there too. But I may want to use a set inside too. Like even, I'm thinking even on my mantle, those would look so cute. So then here is the other set too. I'll keep those in the bubble wrap. So you, here's the one set I think on a mantle would be really cute, don't you? Have them lined up. I may have to do that. I like that idea because I just love that silhouette look. And look at how it coordinates with like the flags. Super cute, you guys. Going through the third box. And this says, Pumpkin topiaries. And again, these are also have the stakes in them. You can use them as an easel. You can even hang them. These are beautiful. These are with the detailing. Let me take the protective on those. So it comes with the stake. So you can stake these into the ground or into an urn. You can hang it or I'm standing it with the easel. I love these for an urn too. I'm thinking of using these in my back porch urns. And then these are 23 inches in height. And at the widest, it's about 13. So really good size. These are a little different than the ones that I have on my front porch, which again, I'll show you that in case you missed it coming up here at the end. And look at the two together. So if you have urns on each side of your doors, how cute would that be? But you could put these in the ground too using the stake. Oh, I love these so much. And I cannot wait to show you how I use these in my urns for fall. I love these mini gallery prints. They have different things that you can hang them on. On my front porch, I have a basket and then you can fill the basket with seasonals. These are so beautiful. They have a bunch of different options for hanging those, using those, all on the website. So I'll include a link for that in the description. Let me grab one of the things you can hang it on. So here in my kitchen, I have this board. This is from the Round Top Collection as well. What I love is that you hang these mini gallery prints that you can then easily change up seasonally. So I have this actually covering one of my outlets, which I love doing. And then I have my mini gallery prints that I can just change out seasonally. So it's a little pretty piece of art and I love those. So I'll include a link for this on my front porch. I have the basket. I also have other stands that you can use these on too. They also have charms as well. But look at how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. And then come Halloween, you can change it out for Christmas, for all of the holidays. They have these beautiful gallery prints in a ton of different designs and pieces. Isn't that pretty? I, I love that so much. my fall front porch you saw the orange ones so i'm super excited to show you the cream ones oh these are beautiful absolutely gorgeous so you could use these on your porch you can use these in your yard you can use these inside as well of course 
I love these so much. Look at the detail. Aren't they gorgeous? And again, you can hang, you can use the easel, you can stake them in the yard. Do so you have the stake? Each set comes with the stakes. So if you want to do them in your yard, and the set of three, they are three different shapes. So like I said, I have the orange in my front, but it might be nice even to do a set of orange and then do a set of the cream and then mix them up together. So here is the next one in the set of three. I love the shape of that. I love that oblong. But the attention to detail, you guys, the leaves, the little squirrelies, the detail on the pumpkin, it's beautiful. You can hang, you can easel, or you can easily put them in a stake. You could, so here are the stakes. And the last one in the set of three is this guy. I'll include a link in the description for this beautiful set. I love how this coordinates with the topiaries. Don't you love that? Look at how beautiful this all coordinates together. And I can't wait to show you how I'm gonna decorate. Today's a fun part, unboxing it all but we're gonna have so much fun decorating with these as well, and I can't wait to take you along and show you that too. Um, but I want, I couldn't wait to show you this unboxing so you can get your hands on these ahead of time too. So when we go to decorate, you already have them. And so here is the third one. Again, so pretty, I love the detail. Isn't it beautiful? And again, you can hang easel or steak and you can put these if you have like stairs our back porch has like the stairs going down to the porch so i was thinking about doing that and having these in the urns but it's going to be fun to play around i'm super excited and that's going to be coming up soon so that's why i wanted to get my hands on these so we could start that um hopefully next week Okay, you guys, we have one more box to go. Here's a little peek. Here's a little peek. Here's a little peek. Just like what I used on my board in my kitchen. These are Christmas ones. Lots of goodies, so let's get to it. So I cleared off the table so we'd have room to go through this last box. So I showed you this beautiful piece. This is one of the mini gallery prints that I love hanging on this wicker board. They have many different options for hanging these as well as the charms. I also have the basket hanging outside on my porch too. Um, and I love these because you can just change them out seasonally. So I wanted to show you the Christmas ones. So this one says, and to all a good night. I love that one so much. I love Twas the Night Before Christmas. It's so nostalgic, absolutely beautiful. So you can hang these on the board. They have plenty of different options for hanging these. I'll include a link for that in the description. Then I also got, because I have different ones, the Better Not Pout. How cute is that? And they have so many different Christmas designs too. But I just loved these too. Super pretty. So I grabbed two of these. So next up is the Ghost Trios. I love these. They come in a bunch of different styles. I have the pumpkins too. I thought the ghosts were so darling. Look at those ghosties. And even the wires got like a little bit of purple. It's spectacular, you guys. And you got the steak, so you can put these in your yard. You can put these in window boxes. I thought these would be super cute in the window box. That's what I was going to do in my Halloween window boxes. Going to our porch. 
We'll pause for a minute. Do you guys see the deer out there? Look at the little babies, the little fawns. Aren't they cute? There's one, there's a buck right over there. I don't know if you can see it. Aren't they cute? They're so fun watching. Oh, one's looking at me. Oh yeah, look at them. They're looking at me right there too. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, back to the unboxing. So this is the vintage ornaments, which I share the medium ones for. So these are just like the medium ones that I shared for my urns. Look at how pretty these are. So if you do garland around your door, you could have these. This would look so pretty coordinating. You could hang these on a tree. You could even stake these too. So the set of three has this one, this one, and this one. And let me find here, and just so you can see too, so here is the size difference between the medium and the small. Next up is a ghost charm. So just like the gallery prints that I've been showing you for fall and Christmas, just like this. Look at how stinking cute the ghost is. I love these. You could even add some ribbon in here and hang these up too. Are these not spectacular? Let me grab my board to show you on that too. So I'll show you how easy you can just take this off and then for Halloween, add that. And look at how cute, super duper cute. I got a couple of them because I just think these little ghosties are the cutest. Next up is a Believe flag for Christmas. This is like the Halloween one that I showed you. I love these just like the Halloween flags. This is for Christmas. This says believe. So pretty for urns, flower pots, or even window boxes. I think this would be so cute and you could put these even in your yard. Look at the detail on this. I love it. It is so Christmassy. There it is to put in a pot, urn, or window box. You can use these indoor as well. So around your mantle, you could put these in a basket. So many ways that you can decorate with these in your home for the holidays. Next up is a, another pumpkin topiary. And I believe this one is going to match the other ones that I've got that I showed you. So these are just like the other ones that I showed you. Look at how cute these are. And again, indoor, outdoor too. How cute on a tablescape. Look at how cute those are. They get that same beautiful detailing. I love these. And again, you can hang it. You can use the easel. You can stake them as well. So these are just like the ones that I'm gonna be using in my urns. Here's another one too. These are so cute. So I thought I would be using the larger ones in my urns and then setting these kind of around my back porch too. I just think those are super duper cute. Next up are more flags. I just love these because you can use these indoor, outdoor, so many ways that you could just add little touches. So this is, oh, these are so cute. <laughs> these are so cute. I just love this. So in the set of two, you have the ho, ho, ho. And again, it comes with the stake to stake it. So you could use this in a window box, basket, urn, flower pot, in your yard, underneath your lamppost. So the set of two, and there's also the fa la la. I love that detail, don't you? How pretty are these? Again, they both have the stakes and you can also hang them too. 
So these would be really cute on a Christmas tree. How cute on a Christmas tree too. You could even stick these like as a tree topper too. You could have this as a tree topper as well with some ribbon. So here is Ho 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 and Fa La La. Super duper cute. I cannot wait to show you how I use these in my home for the holidays. Next up is this gorgeous, oh this is beautiful, Merry Christmas flag. Look at how beautiful it is. And it's such a good size. Look at how big that is. And I love the font, that scroll lettering. Isn't it beautiful? And again, it's got the pole so you could stake this to put in a pot too. I love these for an urn. How pretty are these? You could even use these for a tree topper or on a tree. I love like that oversized look in a tree too. Isn't that beautiful? I love this flag. I think this would be really pretty in window boxes too. Love this so much. Okay guys, time for a quick coffee break. We have a few more boxes to get through. Look at all of this beautiful decor. I cannot wait to show you how I use this in my home for fall, Halloween, and of course Christmas. And I was so excited to show you all of the Christmas. So like I said, you could get your hands on it early and you know you got it, that was needed. <laughs> All right, so now this says Santa Saint Nick. Oh goodness, you guys, look at this darling Santa. How cute is he? And again, you can stake him. So how cute for a urn or a flower pot. You can also hang him as well. I love him, don't you? Super cute. I did get a set of two of them, which I'm thinking for urns would be really, really cute. And then have greens and some of the flags or the ornaments. And I wanna show you up close the detailing. Isn't he cute? I love this Santa. He would be so cute in an urn. But again, you could even put him inside in a basket next to the tree would be really, really cute too. I cannot wait to show you how I use this in my home for the holidays. Okay, you guys, now I'm gonna show you the topiaries I'm going to be using in my urns for Halloween. So I'm gonna be swapping out my fall ones when I start decorating for Halloween to these. Is this not? spectacular or what look at how cool this is i love that so much look at how cool that is oh i have it on the easel right now so you could stand it up you could hang it or again you could use the stake too front porch urns for halloween and here is the other one how spectacular are these you guys so you don't even have to put these in urns. You could stand them up on your porch somewhere too. You could use these inside as well. Those are amazing. Look at that. Those are beautiful. Okay, you guys, we are down to the last two boxes, but they are the same. There are two of these. This is the jack-o'-lantern with witch hat. I'm so excited about this. It is so cute, and I cannot wait to see it in person. So, this is the witch hat to the jack o' lantern. So look at that witch hat. But this is just part of it. I also have the jack-o'-lantern coming out too. And here is the jack-o'-lantern. Here is the jack-o'-lantern. I'm gonna put the witch hat 
on top of the jack-o'-lantern. Look at how cute that is for a Halloween porch, for a inside your home, next to your mantle. I am blown away. I'm speechless on how cool that is. And look at how it goes with the topiaries too. Oh my gosh. I'm blown away. It is 36 inches by about 28. It does come with stakes too. So you can put it in the ground as well. So I will include a link for the jack-o'-lantern with the witch hat as well in the description below so you can grab this amazing pumpkin too. It, I cannot wait to show you how I use this for Halloween. You will see how I decorate for Halloween, for Christmas, using all of this gorgeous decor from the Round Top collection. And of course, the back porch will be coming up here soon too for fall. That will be coming up first. And then of course, Halloween will be coming up towards the end of September. And then Christmas will be in November. So you'll be able to see all of this decor and how I use this in my home. But jump on it now. Get it now before it sells out. Plus then you'll be happy that you have it. So when you're ready to decorate uh, for the fall, Halloween, or Christmas too, you already have this as well. So I'm so excited that you guys joined me. I hope you had fun going through this unboxing too. And finally, here is a peek of my fall front porch featuring the Round Top Collection pumpkin topiaries in my urns as well as the beautiful pumpkins around my urns and here is the hello pumpkin gallery print along with the round top collection basket i have it hanging on Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite piece is. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, follow me over on Facebook or Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.